Yeah, welcome to Serenity Ledger's YouTube video for this uh, 2019 um, beautiful Deflefs 7850 Premium uh, XLI. Um, so we've, um, by, these don't come along very often, quite rare. We like to buy oddball motorhomes, um, predominantly German, European, etc. And, um, and what? Uh, and we have one of these. In fact, we had two. Uh, at the same time, very recently, uh, well, up until yesterday, actually, uh, but the other one sold. Uh, the other one was a 2019, and uh, that sold for 122.5. Uh, this is also 2019, but slightly later in the year. So this is back to uh, September in the year. And uh, this one has only done 5,300 miles. Uh, so it's quite unusual because the chap who bought it last uh, put it on a seasonal pitch. Um, very expensive motorhome to leave on a seasonal pitch. Uh, hence the very low mileage and um, hardly used it. So that's why it's done such little mileage. But this, these are these are European tourers. You know, these are going off for months at a time. Or you just use it as a weekender or put it on a seasonal pitch, uh, whatever you want. Um, the only mark that I can find on the outside, and I'll get this done, is just on the tow hook. See, there's a little bit of paint missing. Um, other than that, it's unmarked. Uh, windscreen is unmarked. Um, Nice and shiny on the front end. Graphics are good. That's a big storage locker. That's to access um, the electricity cable goes up through the floor. Um, you've got a, uh, the water filler is there, outside barbecue point. Um, wheels and tires are very nice. Uh, even though it has been stood, I've checked, there is no sidewall cracking on those tires. Okay, um, I like the fact that the garage opens on the central door locking. And look at that. Huge. Um, that's a safari room that comes with it. Uh, that's an expensive option, the two-lay one. Uh, you can you can have that and a spare wheel. That's an option. Uh, twin leisure batteries are in here, and all the electrics are housed in there. Some RCD switches. These are um, just garage lights, etc. Sockets in here. Okay. It's heated. Um, awning handle, stabilizer handle, etc. That's all there. Um, Back end is lovely, no scuffs, no cracks. And as I said, you can open this one as well from this side. So the through is fabulous. Scooter, push bikes, um, and God knows what else you'll get in there. Um, the Aldi boiler is situated in here. So it's obviously it has Aldi, proper central heating. Again, markings wise, uh, there's nothing on it. I've, I bought this one in myself this week and it is uh, completely unmarked. So you've got Gaslow, refillable system on here. Uh, oh, there's a little bit missing on one of those catches. I have to get one of those. The catches is kaput. That's no big deal, they just screw on. Um, it's got over half a tank of diesel. Normally they come in with the petrol light on or diesel light on fuel light rather for that matter but not this one yeah it's lovely um, so let's go to the interior you can see the full list of options on the advertisement for this camper um, the, the, the non-standard stuff um, the driver's seat looks very high at the moment what well, it is it's an air seat you um, literally sit in it like on a truck it bounces up and down um, but it, it, if I sit on it there you go it'll go down well, it'll go down a lot more than that there we go. But you can adjust the height of this seat. Um, you've got a very nice multimedia system with sat nav. You've got uh, cruise, air, integrated blinds, electric front blind. Um, you've got, um, oh my God, I was going to say power steering then. That's like going back to the 80s. Uh, it's got an alarm system. Okay. Uh, and it's got a tracker. Uh, leather is absolutely pristine. You wouldn't want to be buying one of these with uh, with plush upholstery. I can tell you, they are um, not. They don't sell at all well with plush upholstery. Leather is is the premium um, option to have, especially if it's in cream like this one. It's lovely. Uh, so there's your lounge. Oh, this table. Um, there we go. Moves backwards and forwards like so. And you can really open that up. Lovely lounge there. That centerpiece comes out. So if anybody sat there. There's two seat belts there, they can get their feet on the ground. Um, the other video we've done for the XLI just shows some wear around the edge of this table. Um, 
that was the only fault on it. This one hasn't got any. Okay. They normally they just they just the the, sort of, the stain sort of peels off a little bit. It's easy enough to rectify, but this one doesn't have it. Um, underfloor heating. Okay. Habitation air conditioning. Truma Comfort Air. Uh, Avtex television. Televisions rather. Um, Maxview self-seeking satellite system. This just comes off. You could take it with you outside, put the satellite up. That's good. Just some, there's the max view system in there. Uh, and that's the remote control for the have air con. Uh, this internal condition is, is, is it matches the, uh, the 5,000 miles. Um, yeah. In, it, it's just lovely. It doesn't, uh, I don't think he ever cooked in it, to be honest with you. In fact, I'm not quite sure what they did do in it, but, um, Clearly not very much because it just looks unused. It really does. Um, nice big Tetford fridge freezer in here. And your oven up there. It's still got the plastic on it. That has been used, but hardly. I, I can't see, I mean, condition of it is spotless. So um, this door, right. So we're gonna venture through here now into the uh, rest of the motorhome. So great big shower here with a duckboard. Very nicely finished. Bifold doors. Um, and there's your bedroom. You can see loads of storage. This mattress pulls further forward. So that piece at the end drops into place, makes it longer. His and hers wardrobes. Another Avtex television in here. Uh, lots of room to get up into the bed, into the island bed. Okay, plenty of room, plenty of space. Hanging sort of wardrobe type thing, type thing there. It's got mood lighting for an evening. It's got all these big deep drawers here. And then a bathroom. So there you go. So you can use this as an ensuite. Gives complete privacy for changing and whatever. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just ideal. Absolutely perfect. If you want to get ready to go out on an evening, uh, you've got all the room. Um, no claustrophobia in this camper. Uh, that's all uh, unmarked. Doesn't look as though it's, doesn't look as though it, uh, it doesn't look as though it's been used. Toilet's all nice. Yeah. There's the Truma air conditioning unit up there. You can just see it. Um, so I can't fault it at all to the interior. Um, as I said, just sold one. These are popular. They've got to be the right one. They've got to be one that hasn't been used for sort of motocross or something like that because the garages tend to get trashed. Um, there's an electric drop down bed here. Okay. You can see the photographs of that on our website. Um, yeah. Very impressive motorhome indeed and in lovely, lovely condition. These are nudging the 200K mark now for a new one of these with the spec on it. So this is just, just uh, four years old, as I said, with 5,000 miles. All right, that completes Serenity Ledger's video for this uh, 69 plate XLI Globetrotter.